Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Carlo Beach Komi, an Emily based fashion designer. Yeah, a lot of you have not been seeing me on the screen. Yeah, coming to the screen, it's quite a difficult thing for me. These days, I'm trying to master doing that. Yeah, I'm a little bit shy, you can say that, but I must overcome it. I will, and I must. So on today's video, which is actually a sequel to my last video where I made a kimono shirt that has a patch on the chest. I don't know how many of you that might have seen that video, but if you've not, do try see it and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video to your friends and probably enemies. You don't know who you might be helping. So on today's video, I will be showing you people how to draft, cut, and also make a bucket hat. Where is that sketch I made? So I love making sketches before I start any production. This is what I want to make. I don't know if you can see it well, but I guess after production, you will understand what I've sketched here. So if this topic interests you, sit back while I take you guys on this ride. So here are the things I'll be using to create this pocket hat. These are some fabrics here. Yeah. I showed the people how to create this pattern in my other video. So I will not be doing that in this video. If you are interested in learning how I did this, go check my other video. You will be well informed over there. So because I don't have a compass, I will be using this to draw the pattern for the cap cover. These are the fabrics I will be using. This is my ruler for drawing lines, my pencil and my brown paper for drafting the pattern for this cap. The circumference of this hat is 22.5 inches. So this is actually 22, the perfect size for this. So I'll be making use of this as my hat cover. So this is it, 22.5. 22 and a half inches for this so no wasting your time let me sketch this one out immediately this is 22.5 inches now going over to get the height of the cap I'll be using 3.5 inches or 3.6 inches. This is this is it. 3.5, but I'll be adding this one to it. That is 3.6 inches. Let me start from here. This is 3.6. This is 3.6 inches high. Now I'll be measuring out 11.25, which is the act, which is actually the red, um, the diameter of this hat. So connect the whole markings. Now divide that eleven point two five by four. Eleven point two five divided by four will give you this two point seven inches. See two point seven inches. 
So you divide this into four places. So three point five inches. That is it. Wow, this one is eleven point two five. Now for the brim of the hat which will be 2.5 inches long the height so i'll still start from here so as not to waste my paper paper is now as uh, costly it's now sold for 200 per sheet so while the length of this part it will be 13 inches then get the height again now connect the whole lines with your ruler and pencil Thirteen inches divided by four. Hmm? See thirteen inches. I'm now dividing it by two to give you six point five. Six point five divided by two again will give you three point two inches. You draw your lines. So height two point five inches. While the length is thirteen. Inches. So it's now time to cut out the whole thing. You will not stop there. You will rip this one apart because you need it to be a little bit flay. So this is how it should look. from here this is when you fix it should go like this and meet here go like this and meet here so that's you are cutting this into two and also for the down part here you should also look this way 
So these are the three steps to what you want to achieve. So to draft out the brim of this hat on this fabric using this pattern, you have to place it well and hold it with your feet. So it does not shift from its position. You place this one as well. See what I'm doing. Hold with your pin so they don't move from their position. The space between this place and this place is supposed to be 0 0.6 inches. So 0 0.6 inches. You pin it as well. Another zero point six inches. You pin it also. This is also zero point six inches. Hmm? Now you use your chalk, trace it out first. I like tracing out first before looking for my cutting allowance and what have you. So this is for the brim of the cap. Now you can remove this. Can now remove the pins and your pattern. I'm keeping this safe. So Tada, this is a half moon. Hmm? Now, this is for the height. But first of all, I have to divide this into two. I'm sorry I'm using the the face of these things to do this for this one this piece is here this piece will be one cm so it is 0 0.4 inches wide yeah 0 0.4 inches wide so i'll first of all check it before i pin it
right this being set aside okay now i'll go off the camera to get the inside of this car so guys i'm done with this the crown the fluffy brim and the brim hmm? so this is the three of them now now it's time to join everything together This fabric is the thin to move freely here, so I'll be supporting it with these brown papers to sew. Without it, I don't think I can sew through. So I'll be sewing right around the thumb. This is what we have.
Don't forget, guys, I'm done with spinning the ocean together. So I'll now start joining immediately. Somewhere here. I don't, you guys can see it's what so 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 here. Okay, it's now time to change my needle because I'm about to use a bigger thread. That's a denim thread to run right round the whole stuff. So I'm using size 22 that's what I'll be changing to now size 22 so before I sew this like right from with this denim thread this denim thread I will match this whole areas so that it will be free see what I mean by notching like ah To be difficult to this is denim so it's quite hard to you know denims are thick fabric so and now I have joined most of it So notching needs strength. Stop this one here. Always remember to open your joints. So guys, um, I want to join. This so here is a thread work so far. This half. I'm right. still going to when I now do more sewing right around the frame of the hat. So, so this is like just this. the beginning. 
will be facing this way on the cup. So that is what I want to do right now. I'll join it from here. I hope you're understanding all the things I'm doing and that uh, this video is quite insightful and informative. Let me leave it. Okay. I want to attach this to this. So you now allow the two fine faces. This is the good part of this. This is the rough. And so you now face both of them here and here together. Like this one is now wearing a hat. I'll prefer to use pins to hold everything together first of all before joining so that I'll not miss anyone and the lines will also be neat and stretch so this is have it to be see inside while I sew right from So leave like two inches open so that you can use it and turn it over. All right, here we go. It was quite difficult doing it for like you know this is denim so 
so guys i'm back from ironing so let me stitch round
see the inside and here is the outside so this is the cup i made for my kimono jacket for this so this goes for this you can see both of them are matching very well so this is a pocket hat so it's for this outfit actually so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and understood a whole lot of things about making this cap it's quite easy so do hit on the subscribe button if you've not done that and also don't forget to like share and comment on this video and all my videos thank you for watching do have a great day